What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and today I am bringing you my top 10 most likely WWE 2022 Royal Rumble winners. We have five from the men's rumble, five from the women's rumble. Let's get right into it. This is my most likely winners that I think could happen. A lot of this also does depend on the title matches at the Royal Rumble and the outcomes of those. But we'll get into that in just a second. Without further ado, let's get right into the first winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. My first participant that I think is gonna win the Women's Royal Rumble is Alexa Bliss. Now we saw Bliss return on Raw last week in the like therapy sort of vignettes, videos. I don't think we're gonna see her in ring again until the Royal Rumble. I think we're just gonna have those little promo packages uh, video vignettes of her in therapy until the Royal Rumble and then I think at the Rumble she will return and I think she could win it and then go on to face Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's Championship and get revenge on Charlotte for destroying Lily. In my number nine spot I have Omos. Now I think Omos is a very likely participant to win the Royal Rumble this year or definitely have a dominant role. He may even break Braun Strowman's and Brock Lesnar's record of 13 eliminations. He may break it. I don't know. But uh, I personally think it's too early for Amos to ring a Royal Rumble. I think he is very, very green. I think he still needs to have another year or so uh, just, you know, getting better before he's put into a spot such as the Royal Rumble winner and a main event of WrestleMania. But we never know. Maybe Vince wants to strap a rocket to Amos and have him win the Royal Rumble. But that is why he is my number nine, because I can see it happening, but I don't think it should. In my number eight spot, we have the return of Bailey. Now, Bailey actually injured and tore her ACL a number of months back, and we haven't seen her on WWE TV since. Now, I think she is still meant to be recovering uh, at the time of the Royal Rumble, but I think she's going to push ahead, and we will actually see Bailey enter the Royal Rumble, surprise return, and win the thing, and then go on to face either Becky or Charlotte at WrestleMania. I personally would like to see her challenge Becky. We can have heel versus heel, and uh, I don't think we've really had many Bailey becky Lynch matches, so it's something fresh and something I would like to see. At number seven, we have Finn Balor, and more specifically, the demon Finn now, we haven't actually seen Finn really since Austin Theory beat him down uh, a number of weeks ago. And Finn has really not had a good time since coming back to the main roster from NXT, has he? I mean, at first it was great. He had a Universal Championship match against Roman Reigns as the Demon. And then they did that terrible finish where the rope was cut and Finn fell and then got speared. And the Demon was beaten and... It was quite unrecoverable, unless you have the Demon win the Royal Rumble and then go on to face a champion of his choosing at WrestleMania. I personally would absolutely love to see the Demon Finn Balor versus the Beast Brock Lesnar. You guys cannot tell me you don't want to see that match. We've had Finn Balor normally versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at the 2019 Royal Rumble, but we have not had the Demon versus Lesnar, and that is something that I want to see. My number six is another star that has been injured for a little while, but has actually been recovered, just not really brought back to TV. I'm talking about Asuka. I think Asuka will be in the Women's Royal Rumble match whether she wins it or not but I personally would like to see her win and then go for Charlotte Flair. They have their history obviously uh, at WrestleMania 34 when Charlotte Flair broke Asuka's undefeated streak uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. That match was then once again Charlotte defending, Charlotte winning so hopefully Asuka can win the Royal Rumble. We can have her versus Charlotte and then uh, have that match again but this time with Charlotte uh, losing and also it would mean that Asuka is the first woman ever to win two Royal Rumbles, obviously, 2022 and 2018. So would you like to see Asuka win the Royal Rumble for a second time? I would. Anyway, let's move on. Coming in at my number five spot, we have the man representing Imperium, Volta from NXT UK, or now has left NXT UK and is going back to NXT, or is he? 
I think this could be a swerve and we have Walter get called up to the main roster straight away in the Royal Rumble because I don't think he's really going to fit in NXT 2.0 to be honest. Uh, and then win the Royal Rumble and challenge Roman Reigns. Imagine the Ring General versus the Tribal Chief at WrestleMania. That would be awesome. Uh, no, I don't think this one is likely to happen. However, I've put it high on the list just because if it did, it would be so cool. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to put it sort of middle of the list, which is exactly where it is at number five, uh, because it's unlikely, but it would be so awesome. But there you go. Number five is Walter. Coming in at my number four spot, we have the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Now, if Bianca wins, this won't only make her the first ever two-time Women's Royal Rumble winner, it will make her the first back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner since I believe Shawn Michaels in 1995 and 1996. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... That is huge. Also, she will be the first ever woman to win a back-to-back -back Royal Rumble, which is crazy. And honestly, I can see her doing it. Now, we've had a little bit of a tease for a Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch feud in the future on the uh, Triple Threat number one contenders match on Raw, where Becky actually cost Bianca the match and then Dewdrop won. So hopefully this happens. I think if she was to win, she should definitely challenge Becky at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Finally, in a good match, the story is there. Becky beat her in like eight seconds at SummerSlam. Let's finally get Bianca her win and her momentum back. Now, my number three spot is Kevin Owens. Now, I've seen a lot of people haven't been talking about Kevin Owens. His name hasn't been thrown into the hat uh, this year for the Royal Rumble by many people. And I think he has a good chance. Now, mainly this really does depend, in my eyes, on the result of the Universal Championship match at the Rumble. I think if Seth Rollins beats Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens could win the Rumble. Now, not only is this a WrestleMania rematch from WrestleMania 36, these two were feuding and then turned into best friends. Now, these guys are best friends, and we've seen before, if you make best friends with Kevin Owens, it never ends well. I'm looking at you, Chris Jericho. So, Rollins versus Owens at WrestleMania. You can have this whole storyline building up to it where it's like they're best friends, then before you eventually have... Rollins turn on Owens. I wouldn't have Owens turn this time. I'd have him going into this as the babyface. And then you can have Kevin Owens win the Universal Championship for a second time at WrestleMania. I think that would be awesome. Let me know what you guys think. I know WWE have thrown a big money contract at Kevin Owens. Maybe there's a title run in that contract. I don't know. But I would be absolutely in shock if Kevin Owens won the Royal Rumble. So that is why he is my number three. And coming in at number two, we have my final prediction or my final uh, potential winner for the Women's Royal Rumble, and it is Liv Morgan. Now, obviously, we have seen Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch going at it recently, and it's never ended well for Liv. You know, Becky's taken the easy way out a couple times, but she's still walked out with the Raw Women's Championship. So now, normally, that would mean that Liv goes to the back of the line. She lost the triple threat for number one contenders match, so surely, back of the line you go, but no. I think that but due to all the shenanigans involved in the Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan matches and due to WWE seeing how much us, the WWE Universe, we as fans want to see Liv succeed, I think that she has a very, very good chance at winning the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. So let me know what you think. I've got Liv Morgan as my number one most likely winner for the Women's Rumble this year. But without further ado, let's get into my number one most likely men's Royal Rumble winner. Now, my number one men's Royal Rumble winner, who I think is most likely to win, really does depend on the result of the Universal Championship match at the Royal Rumble. Because it is Roman Reigns. Now, yes, I know, Roman Reigns is the top heel. He's won a Royal Rumble before. But the rumours were stating that obviously Seth Rollins was supposed to win the championship at day one, the WWE championship. Then Brock was inserted. So now WWE might be doing a switcheroo to get things back in place, just switching the titles around and have Lesnar versus Reigns at Mania for the WWE championship. Reigns versus, uh, Rollins versus someone else at Mania for the Universal championship. You'd send the Universal title back to Raw, bring the WWE title back over to SmackDown. So I think 
that early in the night, Seth Rollins could beat Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. We've seen Rollins beat Reigns numerous occasions before. I don't see why he couldn't do it this time uh, if WWE so, you know, so happened to go that route. Rollins beats Reigns. Rollins has the Universal Championship. What does Roman Reigns do, considering he's the top heel as well as the top guy? Enters the Royal Rumble at number 30 and wins. Just like he did in 2017, when we all hated it, but that was when we were supposed to like Roman Reigns. I think if Reigns enters the number uh, number 30, people are going to be pissed. And it is going to be brilliant because he will get so much heat because he is a heel. And that's what we need for heel Roman Reigns. We need all that heat. He'll then go on, smash everyone, win the Royal Rumble, and face and beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, I might make like a top 10 potential surprise entrance video or something like that. But we'll see how well this video does anyway first. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Burn!